A Russian court has sentenced U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner to nine years in prison. The judge found Griner guilty of possessing and smuggling narcotics. Tina Krause has all the details from London. In the cage in the back of the Russian courtroom, Brittany Griner listened as a translator passed along the verdict. The judge found the 31-year-old basketball star guilty of deliberately bringing vape cartridges containing cannabis oil with her when she flew to Moscow in February. Before the verdict, Griner offered an apology to the court. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here. Griner's lawyers had argued the Phoenix Mercury Center and two-time Olympic gold medalist inadvertently packed the cannabis canisters. They presented character witnesses from the Russian team she plays for in the WNBA offseason and written testimony from a doctor who prescribed her cannabis for pain treatment. Medical marijuana is legal in Arizona. I never meant to hurt anybody. I never meant to put in jeopardy the Russian population. I never meant to break any laws here. The verdict comes as U.S. and Russian officials are negotiating a prisoner swap. Last week, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke to his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, urging him to exchange Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan for Russian arms dealer Victor Boot, known as the Merchant of Death. We had a frank and direct conversation. I pressed the Kremlin to except the substantial proposal that we put forth on the release of Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner. Russia offered a counterproposal, asking for the release of a Russian assassin held by another country. The White House is calling it a, quote, bad faith attempt to avoid the U.S. deal that's on the table. Tina Krause, CBS News, London.